Thank you for that. Well, the union representing Buffalo police officers says that it has some concerns now about proposals being put forth by the city to meet the governor's requirement for police reforms. The full report will be sent to the Common Council a little later this week. Our Dave McKinley spoke to both the union and the mayor about it today. We're very committed to the reform process. But Mayor Byron Brown will be the first to tell you. All of the things that are in the resolution that were recommended will not necessarily make it into the final report. Recommendations like requiring all cops to live in the city they serve or that their continued employment be subject to annual performance reviews would have to be negotiated through the police union. And because rank and file officers were not afforded any input into reforming the department thus far, None. He didn't have any input to whatsoever. Police Union President John Evans says until that changes, the city should not expect his support for those measures. Not that the mayor is deterred by it. I do believe that residency is an important priority. I've always believed that. As for other measures, including a ban on certain tactics to subdue individuals or requiring cops to report other officers for not following protocols. It's always been a policy. It's not, again, not a reform. Moreover, Evans worries about proposals which he believes may hamstring police in their efforts to enforce laws or even make officers hesitant to do so. Well, what's your ideal officer, right? Well, the one that doesn't get complaints and doesn't get lawsuits. Well, you're going to have a very ineffective police force if you do that. It's just such a, a gotcha atmosphere right now for a uh, police officer. Different from when he came on the force 20 years ago. And if someone were to ask him about becoming a cop today, would he recommend it? Good Lord, no. <laughs> Not a chance. No, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Uh -huh.